But I, I want to show you something. What is different about this shirt? Okay, can you guess what's different about this? Eric Singer is in it. And you <laughs> and I met from Eric Singer. Oh, really? We jammed together, you and I, at the gig on Melrose a long time ago. I had a band with Eric called Glam Nation. And we, you came and jammed. It was the guys from Alice Cooper's band, basically. Well, those guys used to come jam uh, in my studio in Wilton, Connecticut. Neil, oh, yeah? Neil Smith and uh, the Dennis Dunaway. Uh, uh, oh, the original cats you're talking about now. You're talking about oh, the, totally. the real guys. Yeah. The real, the real well, guys. You got to understand, I'm 72, so... No, come on, Ace. I hung out with the real guys. I I got drunk with Al Scooper before he got sober. That's uh, how well, I know Alice. Hold, hold on a second now, because it's it's like a different Alice now, you know. And what was what was the the Hollywood vampire Alice Cooper like drinking with Alice? Was he a lot of fun? Oh, Dude, the, the hang. Well, I mean, Alice was the shit. Yeah, I'll never forget when he did the billion dollar baby tour at Madison Square Garden and Kiss had just formed and me and Paul Stanley snuck our way down to the front of the stage slowly, hanging on to the sides of the seats on our knees. And uh, when he walked down the stairs, you know, the whole band was dressed in white. And he sang Hello Hooray. Unfucking believable. Hello. Hooray. Let the lights grow dim. Wow. He fucking owned the stage. And then uh is that better? Hey, you look good. Am I okay? You look fantastic. All right, yeah. Make yourself comfortable up here. I didn't want to miss you. I want you to to be comfortable up here man you look, the you look familiar i i told you we we jammed you're not gonna you meet your ace freely you're not gonna remember me so there you go but anyway yeah when you when you hang up with me right now ask eric if he really knows me and then you'll, you'll get you'll what's understand. your name stefan stefan adika stefan what? adika stefan, stefan adika a d i k a like Attica, but just Adika. That's interesting. Yeah. But you could say Attica. I'm okay. I like the movie. It's a good one. by science. You want to talk life. about artificial intelligence, which is what Blinded is about. And we're blind. halfway through the record and I said to Steve, you know, shit, I don't want to have every fucking song about abroad. So I, I had been reading some articles about artificial intelligence and the dangers of it. And I don't know, six or eight months ago, some scientists and CEOs of comp major companies had a meeting. And I mean, 43, I think that was the correct number. I think 43% of them, 43% of them said that AI is going to take us out in five to 10 years, if not regulated. But here's the kicker. Even if we get the regulations in place in America, we can't stop what Russia does. We can't stop what the Chinese do. We can't stop what the Japanese do. I mean, I just heard the J Japanese has come out with a fully functioning female robot. And that includes sex. Come on, so, really? It, it's getting crazy. But but but, but is she going to complain afterwards, the Japanese robot? That's what I want to know. I doubt it. You know, <laughs> she's programmable. So, you know. <laughs> You, can, you know, if you want to fight with her, I'm sure you can program her to fight with you. you know? it, it, it's sure so important to pleasing and making you happy. <laughs>
It's also dangerous. I mean, I had one of them. I have a computer guru. And what I mean by that is this guy is a wizard. Uh, when it comes to computers, he can break into any computer. He knows how to get into the back door. He programs uh, the computers in that big mountain out in Montana, the Cray computers. Uh, he's only one of seven people in the world that is allowed to fuck with those computers. Uh, he was telling me crazy stories about this place. He said they got these giant computers. The CPUs are cooled with liquid nitrogen because they get so hot. Yeah. And he's, I go, how do, how do they uh, change the memory and do maintenance inside? Because these fucking things are as big as, you know, two of like four fr refrigerators or whatever. He goes, they have these little Peruvian women that are like three feet tall with little hands. And there's a little hole and they crawl in and they change the RAM and upgrade it and clean any parts that need to be cleaned or replace any parts. And they crawl out. Now, that's insane. But, you know, I believe him because I know I've known him for 40 years and he's a fucking wizard. He taught me how to do computer animation. Remember during the KISS tour for Psycho Circus? Yeah. yeah. It was an animation of the four faces morphing from one to the other. I did that. You did that, huh? Absolutely. Wow. That's all we have time for today. But if you want to check out more of our conversation with Ace unedited, join the fun. Become a member right here on YouTube. See these episodes unedited. In the meantime, post your comments down below. Subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified so you don't miss when we do release new episodes. And click on the box right here on your screen. Who loves you, baby? We do. Thanks for watching. Straight up. We don't have a plane that can make a turn at a right angle doing 4,000 miles an hour. Wow. Wow. <laughs>